In December of 1899, Swami Vivekananda arrived by train in Los Angeles. Three months earlier, in October of 1899, while Josephine McLeod, known affectionately as Tantine, was staying at Ridgely Manor in New York, she received a letter saying that her brother was lying seriously ill at Mrs. Blodgett's home in Los Angeles. As Tantine urgently got ready to leave for Los Angeles, Swami Vivekananda told her, Get up some classes and I will come. When Tantine arrived at Mrs. Blodgett's to look after her brother, she was surprised to find, hanging above his sickbed, a large colored poster of Vivekananda. Mrs. Blodgett told Tantine that she greatly admired the Swami, that six years before, in 1893, she had heard him speak many times at the Parliament of Religions in Chicago. On his arrival in Los Angeles, Swami Vivekananda stayed with a Miss Spencer for a few days, then moved to Mrs. Blodgett's home on West 21st Street. Later, Mrs. Blodgett wrote, I'm ever recalling those swift, bright days in that never-to-be-forgotten winter, lived in simple freedom and kindness. We could not choose but to be happy and good. Oh, those pleasant tea party days, as you used to call them. How we used to laugh. Swami Vivekananda was a guest speaker at the Home of Truth. He spoke to the congregation on eight occasions. Years later, J. Ransom Bransby, the Swami's host at the Home of Truth, wrote that Vivekananda's lectures were attended by large, appreciative audiences. The Swami spoke with great charm and spirit. He spoke as one having authority, as one who had an inexhaustible reservoir of knowledge to draw from. At the invitation of the Mead sisters, Alice, Carrie, and Helen, one morning the Swami rode up in a horse-drawn carriage to the Mead family home at 309 Monterey Road in South Pasadena and announced, I've come to stay with you. For six weeks, Swami Vivekananda lived in this tiny house with the three sisters, their two children, elderly father Jesse, and Miss Fairbanks, the housekeeper. All three sisters had attended Swamiji's first talk in Los Angeles at Blanchard Hall. Mrs. Carrie Meadwykoff proclaimed, It was as if Christ himself were in our midst. Swami also gave talks at Payne's Hall, Echo Mountain House, the Green Hotel, and the Shakespeare Club in Pasadena. Swami Vivekananda left Los Angeles for Oakland on February 20th. There can be little doubt that the Swami's first visit during the winter of 1899-1900 was the direct inspiration that led to the future Vedanta Society of Southern California.